The gap between uh, breast milk and formula begins to close after 12 weeks. And my understanding is that by six months, it's uh, non-existent. In other words, nutritionally, and maybe non-existent is too strong, but you know, nutritionally, um, they're a lot closer in terms of nutritional value and formula is not just uh, okay, you know, after the first three to six months, but it's recommended because it's very nutritious. I mean, it's cow's milk that's been modified to make it more easily digestible by infants, but it's chock full of nutrients. Um, you know, try to get a brand or type of formula that you feel good about. Um, but it's, it's, it's good nutrition for an infant. It's not that it's bad nutrition, um, but I just think it's critically important that you stick to just breastfeeding, at least for the first three months, if at all possible, uh, for the reasons that I discussed in my video on breastfeeding in the fourth trimester uh, that I'm not gonna repeat here. So I just think the optimal start to life for an infant is to have nothing but mother's breast milk for the first three months and let's say three to six months, and then we'll you know, leave it up to, to you and, and, and your wife, uh, the mother of your child, to decide for yourselves when's, in, in consultation with your pediatrician, when's the right time to introduce solids. Uh, but try to stick with the breastfeeding for as long as possible, and if you can do it exclusively or predominantly for the first six months, um, that would be my advice uh, as well. And again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not trying to pretend to be one, uh, but, uh, you know, I think there's uh, listening to the experts. I think there's good reason to believe that that's going to give your baby the best start in life.